Hello all and welcome to the next video here in the Onion Man's Rooftop Toyota to Cow Caravan of Treasure. Sometimes barter. The streak continues. And we're taking a look at the Thundercats Ultimate Super 7 Wave 2 Groon figure. Um, hopefully this is a big improvement over the first two. We've already looked at Tigra and Pumira from this wave. And as good as they are, they're good. Like when you look at them, it's like, oh, that's a fantastic figure. But I feel like there's some lack of detail, especially in the hair and the head sculpt, or the head painting jobs, I should say. Um, and then with Pumira, there was like a weird lack of detail on like the upper body clothing and stuff. I don't know what was up with that. But uh, we're taking a look at Groon. For the most part, in box, he looks like he's better. So we'll see. Uh, Groon, obviously one of our villains. Um, I like that Super 7 does different things on the slipcase. So, you know, for our heroes, it's the Thundercat symbol. For the villains, it's this Mumraw snake symbol. Uh, he did have his shipper box there, so there you go. Um, yeah, let's get into Groon. Uh, slipcase, back of the box if you want to pause and take a look. Cool. What is Groon? Like, you've got Jackal Man, he's a jackal. There's Vulture Man, Sleeth is a Lizard Man. Groon is what? What is he? Is he a bear or is he a, like a, a saber tooth tiger? I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. I can't remember what Groon really is. Okay. Interesting. Hold on here. Apologies. Well, that's no bueno. I'll just drop that. Okay. Sorry. I was reading the back of the box because something confused me. I always remember Groon as just like a villain. Like he's just not a henchman per se. But like he's he's one of the main villains. And then I saw this Thundercat swappable armor piece. I was like, what? And like reading the back of the box again, it's like, yeah, he was he used to be a member of the Thundercats. Um I totally forgot that. Uh that is wild. It looks good too. We got his mace. Wish there was a little bit more detail on this. Got a bit of a paint add issue there. Eh, it's alright. Go back to this, though. This looks good. There's actually good weathering on it. It doesn't have, like, a dirty look. It has, like, a good washed look. Um, you can see, like, kind of the texture in the back of the armor there and on the belt. Eh, not bad. One of the better looking armor pieces so far in this set of toys. Uh, it looks like he's got some spiked knuckles, like some spiked, spiked brass knuckle weapons. Okay. Mm. Getting all the alternate hands out is a little awkward. Hold on. He's got four. Two sets. And that one just doesn't want to come out. Okay. Got it. So it looks like he's just got some different uh, opening hands. So, there you go. We have a broken sword. I'm guessing that has something to do with the Jaga fight. We have alternate shield pieces. You have, like, the main shield, which is, like, this crazy pentagram thing. Or not a shield. It's not even a shield. It's a... Like a token or like a, I don't know, like a symbol? I don't know. Fascinating. A seal? I'm guessing the seal that's on his tomb. And then we also have the same thing, but it's broken. Interesting. We got his alternate head. We kind of got like a more angry face, slightly mouth open, TV face. See, okay, this is what I meant by detail and hair. Tigra and Pumara just had like that one shade of orange or brown or whatever. And it looks weird. With him, they kind of layered it. You can see like little splashes of red in there. A it, like just that little bit makes it pop more with detail. So better and much improved on the hair with um, Groon here. 
I like to see that. And then we got the figure itself. Oh. His legs are pretty loose. Not too bad, though. Get them all straightened out here. Alright, we got Groom. He looks solid. The armor still has that kind of wash over it that makes it look like it's, you know, not just something. It's got a little bit of a texture to it, too. Nice. Um, the belt, same thing. It's got some texture to it. It's more of a rubber. And then you got the spikes there. You got, like, his gaunt, um, shoulder pads here. Spiked gloves. They did the same thing with the hair. If you look, the tips are kind of red. It brings out, like, a lot more of the detail in it. I like that. Helmet on the top, maybe a little bit more detail could have been needed, but not too bad. Um, his shoes are pretty basic. He's just got these, like, samurai-looking shin guards. And then he's got a little bit of swivel there. Uh, yeah, Super 7 uh, torso swivel, not so much there. He's definitely got the bicep swivel. He's got the double-jointed knees, double-jointed elbows. Not double, Well, they're double-jointed and they have a swivel, so there you go. Um, yeah, he looks good. For the most part. Like, I, I don't see anything really wrong with him. He's got that ab crunch there. You can see in the back. Yeah. Stand test. Alright, cool. Yeah, alright. For the most part, yeah. Stands really well. Uh, there you go. There's Groon. Um, not bad. Uh, definitely an upgrade from the Tiger and Pumaira, in my opinion. Um, I think he's a much better figure. I think the detail, just that small detail in the hair helps a head sculpt and head paint job so much um so there you go uh, i like it he's pretty good um favorite figure so far in this set no probably not um i would give that to the first lion the wave one lion um that mumra was great too hmm interesting regardless great figure i like him it's good uh we have one more to go in wave two uh let me see what do we got we got mumra we got big Mumra. Well, big Mumra, man. There you go. Boom. Big Mumra. Uh, we looked at old skinny Mumra. Now we get to look at Mumra, the ever living, as he is living, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, and then a lot more. I don't know what I'm going to do next. I kind of want to go... I might switch this up and do some of the um, Ninja Turtle Super 7 figures I have kind of piled up back here as well. And maybe alternate between the two. There's a lot of other stuff I need to unbox as well. Some Storm... A couple of Storm collectibles, a lot of Marvel Legends, some WWE, some NECA, G.I. Joe Classified, a couple of more Marvel Select figures. There's a lot, so I'm not sure what's going to come after this. I'm going to try to intersperse these. But that's it. Uh, thank you for the video. Uh, if you like the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. You do not have to if you do not want to. But I appreciate anybody who does, and I'll catch you guys in whatever the next video may be.